if to give you an idea of how it works there at the finish, I think I saw, the last I saw of the race was 500 meters to go. And then, of course, uh, our feed, uh, the feed that we, the televisions that we look at as journalists, they all went out with like two, three kilometers to go. So we are watching on the internet feed and the internet feed is always behind in these races. So you have to put down your phone at around 500 meters to go because by that point, the riders are already riding, arriving. You have to do your work. Uh, so you just hear over the over the speaker that Asgren had won the race, and so you're doing all these interviews without actually knowing how that last sprint unfolded. But then watching that sprint unfold, yeah, it was a it was a repeat of 2020, exactly like 2020. Uh, it was with uh, Vanderpool leading and out, but this time he didn't have the legs to carry it through. Or as you're saying, as Matt uh, Stevens was saying, that they had the wrong gearing, in fact, to carry it out. Uh, so I have to tip my hat off to Matthew at there at the final because not only did he pat Asgren on the back, uh, as riders often do right after a, front, a front, uh, finish like that, but he came up to him and said, congratulations, you deserve this. So that was a big move by uh, Vanderpool, who, of course, has the luxury of already having the race, having won the race in 2020, Michael. Yeah, I completely agree. This Tour Flanders, it never disappoints. 